Hello friends, welcome to Azure Talk. In this small video, we'll learn about Azure Front Door, a very quick introduction of Azure Front Door and some technical details are here. So once you are familiar with this small concept, a uh, very important concept in, in fact, so I will immediately switch into how to create Azure Front Door technical part. So Azure Front Door is define, manage and monitor the global routing for your web traffic. It's a routing based solution. Optimize the best, optimize for best performance. Instant global failover for high availability. I'm focusing on the high availability because it does really matter. Works well in multi-region enterprise applications. That is best fit when you your two different or more than two different applications are hosted in different different regions. So robust and high performance solution. It's a completely managed by Microsoft. So you need not to be much worried about it. Just to concentrate on your hosting of your web applications and different regions. So the, let me uh, drill, uh, drill down uh, some technical details works at layer seven or HTTP or HTTPS layers. So people who are having networking background must all know about all these different layers of networking. So use any cast protocol. See, just focus on the any cast protocol. This is another kind of protocol which split TCP and Microsoft global network for improving global connectivity throughout all the regions. So your application would be, uh, you know, uh, activate or maybe available very fast. Other fully managed load, load balancing and routing based solutions provided by Microsoft are traffic manager, application gateway and load balancer itself. So in this video, we are going to just focus on front door. And in subsequent videos, we may talk about these different load balancing solutions. So because we are going to start with front door, so you must know from where how to start it. That is the URL. You can just press uh, and you can reach to Azure front door description and its page on Azure. So you can start service free of cost and has free uh, some some of the advantages explained like SSL offload and application acceleration at the edge, close to the end user, web application firewall, and DDoS production, global HTTP load balancing with instant failover, central uh, control panel for traffic orchestration, actionable insight about your user and backends, and so on and so forth. There are various other explanations are given. You may in your free time can read it. Out. And if we talk about the pricing part of Azure front door, so no upfront cost, no termination fee, pay only what you need. So it is a cheap and best solution for uh, any failover situation or multi region, especially if your applications are hosted in different, different regions. That is the best solution indeed. Let's get started. With the technical implementation. In fact, as I said, for using the Azure front door, we must have the two, at least two different applications, uh, or maybe that same application and hosting in the two different regions, at least. So, first of all, we need to create two app services and hosted them into several different regions. So now I'm going to create first app service in front of you. And probably I'll take a break and get back to you once the another application is created. Creation of the app service is quite simple and straightforward. Go to uh, main home and select the app service. Add here, choose your subscription, go to any resource. I have already uh, created one resource. Group, give a name, first app 
uh, probably. This name is not free. Globally, it should be unique name. First app, uh, Azure front end. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, this name is available. Running task, I'm going to create an application on uh, .NET Core 3.1, hosting on Windows environment, hosting on the central US, let it be as is. And uh, for my purpose, standard S1, or maybe I can change the plan. I can use the dev test and uh, the B1 plan, the cheapest one, just for demo, okay next monitoring i don't want any monitoring i'm just closing this next tag i i'm not writing any tags and review and create let's see uh, it may take few seconds to create and provision my first web app so i'm going to go creating the app web app my deployment is in progress let me come back after its deployment i'm back now i can see i have created two different web app services uh, one is uh, let me go to the web services and see i have created two different app services just now one is with the name of first app azure front end and hosted in central us second is second app azure front end and uh, it is hosted in North Europe. So, as I said, I have to create two different web app minimum and hosting should be in different, different regions, which is done. Okay, now it is a high time to move to how to create front door. Go to home and type here for front door. As you will write front door, the first option is there here i don't have any existing front door so i can go and create a, a new one create front door or maybe you can go through add button it would ask a couple of queries from you some parameters you have to pass to create a new front door resource group i can either choose the new one or i may um, use the existing one i am going to use my existing one Resource group location is North Europe. By default, this uh, resource group is available in North Europe. No problem at all. Go to next configuration. This is the very, very important part. In the configuration section, you will find the three different options, front door domains, uh, backend poles, and routing tools. Sequentially, we have to create each one. Here is the plus marker, an icon. Click on this, add a front door host. Now, if you wanted to know about what is the front end host is, the definition is clearly mentioned here. The front end host specifies the desired subdomain on front end doors, default domain. For example, Azure FT.net. FT stands for front door, it's a nomenclature. To route traffic from that host via front door, you can optionally onboard custom domains as well. It means by default, Azure will provide you Azure FD.net as a domain name, but you can anytime use your, your custom domain as well. I'm giving my name, um, AM front door. Let me see if this name is available, very well available. So my full name would be host name would be am front door dot azure fd dot net and session affinity uh, i would disable this feature as of now application firewall i don't really require this in this demonstration purpose so i can leave it apart or if there is any policy uh, no existing policies in the current subscription so let me just open it otherwise i have to create some policy for this the first step is done you see amfrontdoor.azurefd.net is now created. Backend pools. So in this step two, now you can create a backend pool for your front end host connects to one because your front end door would anyhow would create, connect with the backend pool and internally backend pool will contact to routing rules, which will decide where to send your traffic. 
create on this. Add a backend pool. A backend pool is a set of equivalent backends in which front door and load balancers your client requests. I can give my any name to my backend. I would say AM back and FD. Right, this name I have given and uh, add a backend. This is very, very important to understand because this is the step which we have to declare now. Click on this, it would ask several parameters from you like backend host types. Let's see what is there in the, and thus. Because we are going to create, we are applying this front door on the app services. You remember we have created two, so I'm going to create the app service. My subscription is free trial. My backend host name will automatically be populated. Uh, Azure talk app dot Azure website dot net, but I'm not going to use this name. I'm going to use first app, this one, which I recently created. Backend header, don't worry about it. HTTP port, let it be on uh, uh, 80 and 443. Let the setting be as is. Priority one, here. This is very important concept to understand because we have two different web applications and we have to set the priority where the traffic would route first. Based on this, if in certain cases, your particular reason or particular web application is not available, then it would move to the another priority, which is priority number two. Width is 50%. It means 50% traffic I wanted to route to the first application and 50%, the same case I would apply in the another uh, application. So the status has to be enabled. That's okay, fine. I'm going to create it. Let's see, first app, Azure frontend dot Azure website dot net is now enabled for uh, backend. My health probe, another very important concept is, we have, uh, this periodically hits to the, through the HTTP uh, prop service uh, to the backend to check the health of your web application. If application is down, health would be uh, clearly mentioned as not well. So it will route, start routing uh, traffic to another, another reason. Here, status I enable, path has let, let it be as is. And uh, where, which protocol we wanted to use, I wish to use currently HTTP. I don't have any such, such a critical application. So, HTTP is enough for me. <clears throat> Probe method is head or get. Let it be head interval. After every 30 seconds, it could be customized. It could be changed. After every 30 seconds, it would uh, make a hit and get the health check of the application. And load balancing, um, I would say sample size is four. Successful sample required is this. I don't want it to really change it because Azure itself has given me the privilege to give the best. Uh, values for this. So going to edit. My second part is done where backend pool is created. Going to third part, which is routing rule. This is very important and mandatory you see. So you can now add a rule to connect your front end host to backend pool. Click on this, reach to the pool, define any rule name. Um, I would say my rule. That's it. An accelerated protocol we have chosen HTTP and HTTPS, that's fine. Otherwise we can see HTTP only, but let it be as is, no matter really. At this time, front end domain, it has automatically shortlisted because we have only created one front end uh, domain. If there are multiple, it would have been populated. So pattern to match, uh, let the default configuration be as is. Uh, route type is forward or redirect forward mode or maybe redirect to some specific uh, uh, another url uh, let it be as it is backend pool we have created this backend pool oh sorry i'm sorry i, I went back um, i have to go back the step three has to be repeated again by mistake i clicked on this so my um, rule Yeah, HTTP only forward protocol. Okay, so this rule is created. Click on this and uh, we are understanding this thing. 
pattern to match and uh, routing details forward only backend pole is this by default selected uh, i'm going to forward the traffic through http and url rewriting currently disabled because this feature we are not anyway going to use in this demonstration and just created it is already created we are almost done next if you are wanted to add some text no i don't want really to create some text for this and it is validating whether i have given the appropriate values to the asked parameters and uh, let's see it is taking time um i'm back once it is done oh probably it is done so validation passed and we can create it again it could take 30 to 40 seconds might be less based on the network uh, latency so let me be back after this my azure front door service is now ready and front end host name is this let me copy this and uh, take it in the browser and see what is the result wow fantastic my application is working and it is routing me directly to the central us app service i have amend this text later uh, creation of web service similarly uh, we have created another application which is hosted on northern north europe so let's see how it would be reflected in case this application is down so uh, let me go to my main dashboard and go to the application for first application front end stop it yes i intentionally have stopped my application and see what is the result now i'm refreshing it it may take some time refreshing and now see the service unavailable so what is the advantage of azure front door right we have missed one uh, that is intentionally i have missed uh, one uh, one thing which is although i have created two different app services but i have only configured one service in azure front door how to resolve this problem go to azure front door settings and uh, here you will find uh, um, overview and the front road designer yeah go to front road designer remember we have configured only one backend pool here it is now we have to add another pool in case my one web application is down so it should host to it was uh, route me to the another application so here the first app, earlier we have created for first app now it is for second app and let the other things be as is other than priority number two add update now you see we have the two different uh, backend host name that's enough for us going to create and uh, save it once it is saved successfully just notice this service when it up gets updated will take a couple of seconds to come back in its its working mode let's see uh, we go to home again app service let me uh, that is stopped as of now but let me recheck with this scenario error currently because uh, it is not reflecting it will take some time let me refresh it again refresh it again i'm stopping the recording until it comes back after some time it has started working and now you can see north europe application is working fine which is secondary another time we will do the same example uh, we'll go for home and intentionally will down one application currently it is working on the second secondary app azure front end i'm going to stop this service close it now and uh, going back to home app services front end service we have already closed it let me restart this service it has started let me refresh it the url for front users will not be changed it would be the front door url so let me click on it 
this service would again take some time because we have stopped the service in background. I think within a couple of seconds it will be back. Uh, we have to refresh it, coming back. Now we are back to our first service, central US service, which, which is priority one service and priority two because it is started and priority two service is down. This exercise, once again, stopping this, yes, going to second service and start it. Let's see our traffic is routing from uh, first to second by default or not. After a couple of seconds, you'll find another service has started working. North Europe is now up and running. Let me restart both the applications. Start it again. In a couple of seconds, you'll find feel the difference. Let me refresh it. Currently, there is no effect because again, the Azure front door will take 30, 40 seconds to get reflected on the changes. It will automatically start routing to central US app, which is the first web service by default, if both are running. Let's see okay, once again. Here it is. In case my all the applications are running in different regions, so it would always give a priority to priority one application, which is first one. In our case, uh, first app Azure front end. In case your that application is down, it will give priority to another application by default. You need not to be worried about it. So that's it for this demonstration. Hope you would like it. Hands on exercise start uh, subscribing this channel and uh, you may also write down what topic do you wanted to learn next thank you very much for the day